Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, let us discuss an important and interesting concept, market supply curve, with the help of a diagram. What do you mean by market supply? It means total supply in the market at different level of prices. Then what do you mean by market supply curve? So it is a graphical representation of market supply schedule is called as market supply curve. So it is a graphical representation of market supply schedule is called as market supply curve. This market supply curve shows what it shows output levels of all firms in the market together at different values of market price. In the market price won't be constant it will be keep on changing. So when price changes in even the quantity supplied by the firms are also going to change. So that will be shown by this market supply curve. Before we take up graphical presentation of this market supply sh schedule, let us understand what will be the schedule or how the market supply schedule will be. You can see here dear students, uh, in the first column you can see price of the product and there are only two forms here have taken only two forms in the market, form 1 and form 2 and this column last column shows the market supply. If the price of the product is 5 rupees, then form 1 is ready to supply 10 units of output and form 2 is ready to supply 5 units of output. You may question why it is so. Because the cost of production, cost of production for both the firms will be different. For this form, maybe the cost of production is more and form one the cost of production is less so even though price is five rupees form one is ready to supply more quantity than form two so this varies because of a cost of production because cost of production varies from one form to another form depending upon the combination of labor and capital that they are going to choose now let us discuss this one let us continue when price is 5 rupees, form 1 is ready to supply 10 units and form 2 is ready to supply 5 units. So total supply in the market will be 50. So here you should consider total level of output. Here you can see total level of output all forms in the market together. That is what we are considering here together. If price is 10 rupees, then the quantity supply by the firm 1 increases from 10 to 15. And for second firm is ready to supply 10 units. So when price increases, when price increases, the supply of firm 1 also increases and supply of firm 2 also increases. Definitely market supply also increases. You can see as price increases quantity supply in the market and each firm also keep on increasing so there is a positive relationship between the price and quantity supply we can say quantity supply is a function of price of a product price of a product so there is a positive relationship between the quantity supply and price dear students now let us understand the graphical presentation of market supply schedule. So here with the help of this diagram we can understand how we are going to derive market supply curve. So in the previous table we discussed that if the price of the product is 5 rupees then the firm, first firm is ready to supply 10 units of output and firm 2 is ready to supply 5 units of output. Then what will be the market supply? What will be the market supply? 10 plus 5 will be equal to 15 when price is 5 rupees. If price increases from 5 to 10 rupees, then the quantity supplied by first firm increases from 10 to 15. In the same manner, 
even foam too is ready to supply more because of increase in the price and it is ready to supply 10 units so the foam supply will increase from 5 units to 10 units then consider the market supply 15 plus 10 that is nothing but a 25 so market supply will increase from 15 to 25 as price increases from 5 to 10 rupees so we can say that this market supply curve is a horizontal summation of all individual supply schedule so here market supply this is a market supply you can consider this curve is a market supply so it is a horizontal see the quantities are added as price changes and these quantities are added to derive the market supply and this quantity is measured on x-axis so because of this reason we say that market supply curve is a horizontal summation of all individuals quantities supplied in order to derive market supply of a form so it shows the supply curve of an entire industry at different prices at a particular time in a specified market so in a particular market at different level of prices the entire industry if only two firms are there both together we call it as an industry form so group of firms we call it as an industry so firms are the part of an industry industry shows the total supply of all the firms so that is what we uh, we have told here you can see here supply curve market supply curve of an entire industry at different prices at a particular time in a specified market so market supply curve shows the entire industry supply at different prices in a particular price in a particular time at a specified market let us assume if there are only two forms in the market then the market supply curve is obtained as follows so here in the form of algebraic format or in the form of equation symbolically we can represent like this market market supply with respect to this supply is in relation to price of that particular product so here we are adding supply of first form plus supply of second form here we have taken a p p is nothing but a, the quantity supply is a function of price of a, that particular product because supply quantity supply is influenced by so many factors we are taking all other factors constant due to change in price of a particular product what will be the demand for that good sorry supply of that good is expressed by market supply dear student just assume that there are two forms in the market form one and form two form one will not produce anything if market price is less than p1 you should keep this in your mind dear students there will be a uh, price different level of price and different level of prices will be expressed as p1 p2 and p3 if price is less than p1 the market price if market price is if market price is less than p1 then form 1 will not supply anything similarly the form 2 will not produce anything if market price is if market price is less than p2 you should keep it in your mind so form 2 will not produce anything if price is less than p2 
here you should keep always in your mind that p1 p2 p3 prices etc the prices will move on like this so you should keep it always in your mind p1 is always less than p2 p2 is less than p3 or you can consider p2 is greater than p1 okay so here you should keep it in your mind that p2 is greater than p1 and it can be explained with the help of a following diagram dear students now let us understand market supply with the help of a diagram on x axis you can see dear students on x axis output is measured and y axis price is measured in the diagram a the diagram a represents supply of form 1 and diagram b represents supply of form 2 and the diagram c represents market supply dear students s1 represents supply of form 1 s2 represents supply of form 2 and sm represents market supply let us assume that if market price market price is less than p1 then both the firms so here both the firms will not supply anything as already i told the cost function cost function okay our cost of production will be different from for each form so the forms will consider how much to supply at different level of prices so we cannot follow blindly that other form is supplying and a, a form one is supplying so form two also supplies no because cost function will differ for each form that we have to keep it in our mind if market price let us assume that market price is less than p2 if it is less than p2 then form you can see here form 2 will not supply anything form 2 will not supply anything if price is in between p1 and p2 then only form 1 is supplying you can see here only form 1 is supplying so if it is p1 form 1 will start supplying until it reaches p2 form 1 will be supplying but form 2 in this zone you can see form 2 is not supplying anything so you have to observe that properly in the diagram you can see here from if price is p1 to you can see p1 to p2 the form 1 is supplying but form 2 is not supplying because of this reason market supply this you can see this market supply will coincide with this form 1 supply that means only one form is supplying and that is first form is supplying in between the price p1 to p2 so market supply will be equal to forms one supply now let us think that if market price is let us think that if market price is p2 you can see here market price is p2 then form 1 will also supply and form 2 also supplies so when you add these two quantities the market supply will starts from here you can see if form 1 supply is q1 and forms 2 supply is q2 then forms sm supply that is market supply will be q1 plus q2 in the same manner if market price is in the same manner you can understand if market price is p3 so what is the market or supply of form 1 q3 and form 2 supply is q2 
4. Then what will be the market supply? Market supply will be Q3 plus Q4 which is represented as Q5. So Q3 plus Q4 is equal to Q5. And you can observe here this gap or this quantity is shown by this place here. See till this point firm A is supplying or firm first firm is supplying and this market supply will coincide. Later what happens firm 2 is starts supplying. So this much quantity is shown by this gap. Later, if you add this plus this slope, the slope of market supply will be little flatter than compared to form 1 and form 2. Later, it will move in a positive direction. It moves in an upward. Dear students, dear students, you should remember one thing. Till now, whatever we have discussed, with respect to fixed number of firms. As number of firms increases, supply or market supply will also increase. You should keep that in your mind. Dear students, it is important for six marks and make use of this notes and get good marks. Dear students, if you like, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.